my god. Six World, you suck. Your videos are click baiting. Click baiter. I hate you so much. Shut the fuck up. Know your fucking place, trash. I know you with my Nobody wanna see us together, but it don't matter, no. Looking at us, yo, what's good, everybody? My name is Six Row. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And we gotta talk about all the crazy things going on right now the offline multiplayer, the tournament mode, the single player mode, all that good stuff we gotta talk about today. But before we get into the video, you know what I gotta say. You know what I gotta say, my guy. Listen, if you are a school shooter, a snake way mini gunner, then my guy, click off the video, hit your dislike, and say goodbye. You're one of those. Clearly, my guy. But if you lit lit, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. That being said, let's get right into the video. Hey! So yesterday we dropped a banger about the offline multiplayer on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. On the website right here it says release date coming soon. Developer Spike Chunsoft genre action fighting and supports single player offline and multiplayer online. Now this is gonna be an issue for a lot of people out there that buy Dragon Ball games for multiplayer. I really don't know anybody out there right now that buys Dragon Ball games for literally single player. All right, now I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. But Sex World, what about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? What about it, my nigga? What about it, Jamal? What about it? I don't play it. Now look, I get it. I know there's people out there right now typing away, talking about I play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot every day. Good for you, Benson, but me personally, I'm not playing that game and I'm good on that, alright? But today we're talking about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, alright? We're talking about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero today and we just gotta really go over this because it's actually kinda like scary a little bit, right? So in case you guys actually don't even know what Tenkaichi Budokai means, it literally means World Martial Arts Tournament Strongest Under the Heavens, meaning that the Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi series is actually based off the tournament from the anime and the manga. And as you guys already know, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi Kaichi 1, 2, and 3 have tournament modes in the game. Even Raging Blast had a tournament mode on the game. Now, in case you guys don't know, up to 16 players, I'm pretty sure, was able to play in a tournament. It might have been 8, but I'm pretty sure 16 people were able to play on one at the same time on 360 and PS3 on Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Now, if we head over to PlayStation 5 Network and we look at the compatibility notices on Sparking Zero, we see right here that it says one player offline and two players online, okay? Two network players online is actually insane to me because how are you going to drop a series, a sequel to a series based off a tournament? You can't drop a Budokai Tenkaichi series sequel and not have a tournament mode inside of it. That's actually insane. But like I said, maybe, just maybe, you do have a tournament mode within the game, right? Maybe it's just two people that can play in the tournament, right? Maybe you're in one bracket and your friend's in the other bracket and y'all are like fighting under different brackets to get to the finals, right? Maybe that's actually an option. I'm not really sure, but it does seem kind of crazy to me that we're going to have a Budokai Tenkaichi series game come out and we don't even have the option to go in a tournament. Now, it is way too early to sit here and, and try and say that there's not going to be a tournament mode, right? That's just insane. We can't just go off that. And it's also too early to say that it might not have offline multiplayer, but that's what they're telling us right now. And like I said, it's really iffy to me because this is a Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi sequel. This is based off multiplayer hardcore multiplayer multiplayer is going to be the best thing about this game going online and fighting niggas dropping niggas off that's going to be the best part about the game so having more options to go online is going to be the best suit for the game rather that be a tournament mode or you know maybe a tag team battle i'm not really sure what they're going to have but maybe that's what they will replace the tournament mode with maybe they're going to add tag team battle instead of a tournament mode it's just kind of weird that you're having a game based off a tournament and not have tournament or not have any talks about it because I think that if they had said network players up to like 2 to 16 or 2 to 8 it would have been safe to say like okay we're gonna have a tournament mode right but then again like I said it is way too early but you can pre-order the game right now so it's not that early but again we've only seen two trailers we had our first gameplay trailer 
and it wasn't a bad trailer at all. I'm not gonna say it's a bad trailer. It's actually a really good trailer. It was really hype and it was really exciting, but there's still no talk about game modes. We don't know much about customization. We know these things will be in the game because I'm pretty sure we're not gonna log into this game, a $70 game at that, and only have the option to go online on like ranked and story. I doubt that's gonna be the only two game modes we're gonna have. Like I said, $70 is a lot for an anime game in general. And not only that, but it is a next-gen console game, meaning that there's not going to be any talks about Xbox One or PS4. This is going to be a game strictly for the next-gen consoles, and I love that a lot because I don't want the game to get tweaked. I just want this game to be at its best, fullest potential. And I know that if they drop this on, like, the Xbox One and the PS4, the full potential of this game would not be happening, all right? And that's what's really exciting me about the game in general is that it's going to be exclusively to next-gen consoles. Now, I know there's some people out there that don't have next-gen consoles. I get it, my guy. I get it. But dap me up, my nigga, because I still fuck with you. Dap me up, my guy. You feel me? Dap me up. You're still that guy. But we still got to, you know what I'm saying? We got to go crazy with the anime games. This is going to be our first anime game, I think or at first Dragon Ball game at least, that is strictly for next gen consoles. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, damn, this is like a Budokai Tenkaichi game. Like, that's gonna be one of the best features on this game is the multiplayer, the tournaments, you know what I'm saying? Rather it be, like I said, tag team, the practice mode's even gonna be fire as well, the training mode, whatever, everything's gonna be fire about this game. And it's just really weird that we don't have the option or they're not telling us nothing about a tournament at all. They're nothing at all about it. I would I wouldn't think that that's something they would promote early on as well. Because the last game we had a tournament mode in was literally Dragon Ball Ultimate Tenkaichi. Again, Ultimate Tenkaichi was another game that was kind of like part of that Raging Blast era. Pretty much the same game, literally, just like different gameplay with like your custom character. So even that game had the option to go into a tournament fight and go online and go crazy. Even eight people in that tournament. So there's no talks at all about any pre-orders or any online websites about this having up to eight players online. It just says two players online and no multiplayer offline. And it's a, it's going to be an issue for me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That is going to be a big issue for me because I want tournament mode it's been so like that was the best part about raging blast was literally the tournament mode bro that was so fun and what was even cool about it was that everybody's mics worked on raging blast bro like it could be like eight niggas in that lobby and everybody's mic works talking crazy spectating the other fights as well like it was actually fire it was really fun actually playing that game in its prime so Hopefully, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero brings that back. That is definitely an option I want to have in this game is a tournament mode. Imagine how much fun streams would be, bro. Imagine how much fun the live streams would actually be. It'd be so lit. Hopefully, they do add that to the game. Hopefully, they like mention it sometime in the future, the near future at that, because having no talks at all about a tournament mode in a Budokai Tenkaichi spinoff is actually insane, but... Again, guys, we don't know, but that's what they're promoting the game as a Budokai Tenkaichi sequel. So if you're going to do that, you got to bring up a tournament at least one time, bro. You got to bring it up eventually. So we'll wait and see and see what happens, my guy. But thank you all again for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And also, who is going to be your main character when the game drops? Let me know. Me personally, it's going to be Teen Gohan. All right, Teen Gohan is my favorite. I got to go crazy. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching the video. I appreciate it. And I will see y'all boys on the next one. Till then, take care, bless up, and I'm out. Hey, I ain't fucking with the homie. I don't give a fuck about a bitch anymore. I've been getting some money, I don't want her anymore. I've been getting some money where my heart feels sore. I just leave her on red, I don't want her anymore. I don't want it anymore. Wishing on me all the time. I wonder why she be wishing on me all the time. I wonder why. Fuck anybody talking shit in all six world. Got a new girl and I swear she out of this world.